Hey everyone, Joy from Sunday Sounds here. Let's take a look at our patch designed in the style of God I Look to You as originally performed by Bethel Music. We play this song in its original key of B and at its original tempo of 68 BPM. This patch has some pianos and pads along with some strings, synths, and bells. The left hand will be playing octave bass notes for all of this song except the first time through the bridge. The upper left hand range just has pads starting on this note. So if you ever need to drop it down quieter, you can always release the bottom notes. So you can hear the lower range sounds like this. Be careful as you move the mod wheel up that you use your sustain pedal often so the strings are heard clearly. The strings will also be stronger at a hard velocity. For the intro, you'll have the mod wheel at 50, and you'll play the lead line up here, and it goes through the progression twice during the intro. The right hand will go like this. Here's both hands together. Anytime you'd like the strings in, you'll want to have the mod wheel at 50, otherwise it'll just be piano. This part comes back as an interlude later, and at the end of the song when you're doing the big bridges, you can keep the mod wheel at 100 for this interlude. For verse 1, you'll have the mod wheel at 0. You'll play the left hand in octaves and some simple chords in the right. I like to play something like this. Again, you have piano the full range of the keyboard, so you can play more or less whatever you feel like. When you do repeats of the verse, it's nice to bring the mod wheel up to 50 so you can hear more of the arps. In the recording, there's an extra bass note added with a little syncopation, moving quick from the 3 to the 4 in your key. Let me show you what that sounds like with both hands. For chorus one, you'll have the mod wheel at zero, and you'll play left hand octave notes. You'll also include that three chord as a passing note like we do on some of the verses.
For repeats of the course, you could do it with the mod wheel at 50 or 100, depending on how big you want to take it. I like to add in a line up high with the strings, and you'll want to use your sustain pedal more than normal so they have good clarity and the notes don't run together. I like to do some octaves in the right hand that look like this. You'll also want to add that extra bass note in as well, so the hands together would look like this. For the bridge, you'll start with mod wheel at zero, and left hand will play single notes. You can do the right hand parts in any inversions you'd like. The last line adds in more of a moving bass line. You do want to be careful to play this note or above, because if you play the one of your chord, this lower note, you'll add back in these lower strings. So when you're walking down, you want to make sure to jump back up to here. I'll show you what this looks like. When you repeat the bridge, you'll want to bring the mod wheel all the way up to 100. And I like to double the vocal line here. We also add in that extra bass note, the three. So here's what I like to do here for the right hand. Here's both hands together. want to make sure to check out the demo to see how I transition with the mod wheel in and out of these different sections and build up dynamics throughout the course of the song. So now just to recap the different mod wheel positions. You'll have the mod wheel at zero for your quiet verse, like verse one, for quiet chorus, as well as the beginning of the bridge and for your ending. You'll want to bring it up to 50 when you want to add in the strings for the repeats of the verse, as well as repeats of the chorus and parts of your bridge and your instrumentals. And then you'll want to bring it all the way up at the end for the really big instrumentals and bridge and final chorus. Now, before I let you go, I wanted to let you know there's a Facebook group called Sunday Sounds Insiders, where you can find behind the scenes videos, sneak peeks, troubleshooting help, rig photos, all sorts of fun. It would be awesome to see you in there. Until then, I'm Joy with Sunday Sounds. See you next time.